mind, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing just Friday Hey, this morning ain't let them, ain't never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photo So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know, you know What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Brown, and I am back with another video. I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, all you gotta do is turn that bell on so you're subscribed to the channel. Also, I'll be dropping a link here. I mean, a picture here or there. If you guys wanna go over and follow me on the Cryer family Facebook page. By the way, before we get into this video, excuse the noise, I have a little one running around here just terrorizing the house. Throwing toys everywhere. He's doing everything but climbing up the wall. Ain't that right, Dion? Ain't that right? So he's running around, he's kicking it with his dad, you know what I'm saying? And I'm so happy to have my little man here. You know, he has been keeping me extremely busy, guys. Running back and forth, chasing up and down the hallways, going in the bathrooms, hiding the closets, all this. So now you know what? I'm gonna have to get more cameras installed. That way, if I'm in the front room watching television, I can click and see what this little butt is doing. Whether he's in the bathroom, I better not put no camera in my bathroom. Anyway guys, as you guys see, I'm in the kitchen. This is gonna be my very first cooking video on YouTube, um, cooking in my kitchen at my new house. So anyway, we got some chicken wings today that we're gonna be frying. You guys have seen me fry chicken wings on multiple occasions, but fortunately, this is the first cooking video that I'm gonna do in the new house. So I have chicken wings, I have mixed vegetables, Corn on the cob takes a little bit longer. I actually got the fresh corn on the cob, so ooh wee, that's been cooking for a little bit now. So it's nice and tender. Some people like their corn kind of hard and crunchy. Not me, I like mine tender. Even though you can now actually eat corn, I didn't know this until a while back, but you can actually take the stalks right off the corn and just eat it right there. You can eat corn raw but I kind of like my corn a little bit more tender. So anyway, I got the grease on right now. I'm gonna be using these two new pans that I bought today from Kroger's. I went to Kroger's today and I bought two new pans. One of them is really, really wide, as you guys can see right here on the stove. This is the uh, another one I recently bought from Kroger's. They're actually twins. One of them is just a lot wider than this pan right here. So I got my chicken wings already pre-seasoned. I've already washed them off, cleaned my hands. I wanted to have everything just about mostly done. So that way, in case I gotta chase Dion down the hallway or something. But anyway, I got that lemon pepper on here and I got a lot of other good seasonings on, this, on these chicken wings right here. You guys know I love chicken wings and my son Dion, he happens to love chicken wings a little bit more than I love chicken wings. So I've already got me some flour right here. It's already inside the bag, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a couple of these chicken wings inside this bag. Oh, let me fold that back up. I like to tuck my tuck the wing under under the big piece of chicken because it, it actually makes room inside the frying pan to get more wings in there. The grease should be about hot. As I always say in cooking videos, guys, don't never drop your chicken in the grease. Lay it in the grease because I'm gonna tell you, I have a burn on my foot right now that happened to me about a week and a half ago and I'm still paying for it today. So I would not be dropping those chicken wings in the grease. And speaking of that, that hot grease, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I was frying chicken wings. It was only four wings I had at the time when I burnt myself. I was using a pan a little bit smaller than this for the wings. And I had one of those itty bitty forks instead of using my tongs to flip it over. The grease splashed and hit my foot and that was it. It was a wrap. So I'm gonna do the test real quick to see if this grease is hot yet. What I do is just take a little flour and I drop it down in there just like that right there. Just to see. And the flour is actually moving around in the grease which lets me know it's time to put the chicken wings in. I will bring the camera a little closer here in a second once I get the food in. Most people, when they put their grease, they got uh, wings in the grease, they normally shake that excess flour off which is, which is a good thing so. That's something that you want to keep in mind. Try to shake the excess flour off. Now I know some people will be like, Mr. Cryer, why do you do so many videos cooking chicken and fish? I will tell you guys why. Chicken wings and fish is my favorite. Most important, you have a lot of people 
that's moving out on their own for the first time in their life. They got the, uh, some people just don't get their they, uh, very, very first apartment. Some people just get their very first efficiency. Some people get their very, very first house. And a lot of people come from living with someone and they never actually lived on their own, which means in most cases, other people usually cook for them. Like in my house, let's say for instance, if someone lived with me in my house, whether it was my kids or a friend or something, I would, you know, I like to cook. So I would normally be the one to cook and that person could eventually move out on their own, that's never been out on their own before and may want, to learn, may want to learn how to cook. We love chicken wings, we love fish, we love greens, we love pig feet, yams and all that stuff. So sometimes videos like this actually really do help people who's just moving out on their own learn how to cook stuff like this. And so that's why I do so many videos like this. However, I will be moving on to other things. I'm about to show you guys something I recently picked up. But what I was saying to you guys was, as far as the chicken wings and fish all the time, I recently went out and I picked up this quick and easy dinner solution magazine from one of the, actually it was the same Kroger's where I recently bought. You're trying to grab this magazine? This is gas. I need this for cooking recipes. You can't have it. All you're gonna do is tear it up. You reach up on my magazines, you can tear it up. This right here is one of those magazines I picked up, you know like when you're standing in line at the grocery store waiting to pay for your food items and while you're standing there in line you would just grab something and just start reading it. And this right here sparked my interest. I was like, you know what, let me check this out. Maybe there's some meals in there I may want to try. And I will be trying some of these. These are actually, there's like a bunch of different casseroles in here. And I said I picked it up from Kroger's. It was actually Dollar Tree. I was on one of my Dollar Tree, monthly Dollar Tree candy hunting shopping sprees and I ran across this magazine. So this magazine has like a lot of different casseroles and stuff in it that you can try at home. Uh, I know that you guys can't see this, but this looks like a, I mean, a, a lot of this stuff in this magazine is really, really healthy. So I will be trying some of these new meals. Um, it's just gonna take a little time to get everything right. As you know, with a little man running around, I mean, well, I can't say that. I almost said with Dion running around the house and have to keep an eye on him, makes it harder but that's just the excuse because he's not with me every single day so I'm, I'm gonna take that back when I have intentions of cooking these new meals for you guys sometimes things happen and I end up doing something else I end up getting distracted or sidetracked and I just don't even get to doing that meal so with it being so hot outside guys Texas right now is hundred and two degrees I got in my truck earlier and it was 104. Now it was 15 or 20 minutes after the truck was running, air conditioner on, and it was cooled off in the truck. It said the outside temperature outside my vehicle was 104 degrees. Comment down below what the temperature is like in your city or state because it's gonna be hot all the way across the map here in Texas, man. So right now, I went ahead and turned my corn off. I got the chicken wings on. Um, I will be using tongs and I'm a little bit of pork this time. Now, I know Dion is probably not going to eat the corn. I've tried to give him corn on the cob before. He'll just sit there, he'll just lick it. When he licks something, it means that he doesn't like it. He's not going to eat it. He'll just sit there and lick it and, you know, and he'll just throw it away. But these mixed vegetables, I'm going to encourage him to eat these vegetables. I don't care if I have to grind these vegetables up, put mashed potatoes in them, or some type of way to trick him to eat these vegetables because vegetables are extremely healthy for you and they're good for kids. They're good for us too, but they're more good for kids. Why? Because kids are in their growing stages, so they need to be eating lots of fruits and vegetables. All right, these wings are looking really, really good. Let me bring y'all closer real quick so y'all can see for yourself. Let you guys see what they looking like. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Crispy boys. That's what I call crispy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Time to get terrorized. Time to get terrorized. Dion, you wanna say what's up to everybody? Say what's up. Say what's up. Mm -hmm. Guys, I fumbled. I fumbled a little bit. My chicken came out a little bit extra crispy today. Um, I was in the other room doing something Dion had tore the whole bed apart, like the mat, like the mattress, but Dion had pulled the blankets and sheets off the bed. And then I realized it was chilly in here too, so I had to put him some pajamas on. Cause what's 
like I got the air conditioner on like 69 because it's extremely hot here in Houston. But I think the house is a little cold. So I put him some PJs on the bottoms and the top. But I think he was a little chilly. When I got done putting them on, I came back to turn the camera on and he flew back in the room and I heard dump, dump, dump. He then pulled the, the comforter off, the sheet off, all the pillows off the bed. And my chicken got a little bit scarred, just a little bit, but it's still edible. We gonna smash this chicken, man. So I got the chicken done. The last thing I'm gonna be doing is the vegetables. This is the very easy part right here. Let's just use this pan right here. We're gonna spray some of this buttery flavored butter in this pan. And it's just a really, really short little cooking video. Nothing fancy. Okay guys, my phone has been going crazy today. So I got the food done. Dion has already eaten. I had to get him out the way because the evening time, it's like after eight o'clock right now. So he is actually in the bed. Um, we're gonna do our prayers and stuff before he goes to sleep. But I did make me some vegetables because Dion, he only, Dion ate two of the carrot. Dion ate two of the carrots and he ate one piece of the broccoli, which I'm pretty happy with that. And I didn't have to grind it up like I thought that I would. So that's that right there. The chicken, as you guys see, a couple of pieces of the chicken is gone. Dion definitely demolished. This pack had like eight pieces of chicken in it. So Dion, he ate four pieces. So there's two pieces left. Yes, yes. And then we have corn on I'm not gonna lie, guys. I did eat one of them. Dion is in her waiting on me so we can do our little prayers before we go to bed. So anyway, I was gonna make me a plate, guys but I got fatherly duties to do, so you guys understand that. He's out the bed, come here, come here, come here. Come to daddy. Oh, you, you got out the bed, hmm? What are you doing? You wanna say good night to everybody, hmm? You wanna say good night to everybody? Say good night, say good night, say good night, Say good night. Yeah, you go, <laughs> see how you looked at it. Say good night. Who to you? Poof. Poof. Give me a high five. Hey. hey, give me a high five. Hey, give me a high five. One more time. Hey, high five. High five. I said high five. Give me a high five. Ouch. Give me a high five. Ouch. <laughs> give me a high five. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> So I was gonna make my plate for you guys. Like, let you guys see my plate, but you guys kind of get it, man. But I do and will keep this promise to you guys. This magazine I showed you guys earlier in the video that has all of these healthy recipes in them. I'm actually going to be putting a notification out on either Instagram, on my um, Insta story, or on my community post here on YouTube about I'm going to pick one of three dishes that I want you guys to let me know that you want me to try. <laughs> and we're going to try it. And we're going to do it together, guys. But anyway, man, you say bye-bye. Are you trying to say bye-bye to them? This boy is so big and happy now. But anyway, man, I love you guys, man. Don't forget, if you haven't already, go on over and follow me on Facebook at The Crier Family. Um, I did a video earlier. We were like 50,000 away from 1 million. Who knows, by the time you get this video, maybe we'll be at a million, but go on over there and follow me right now, guys. And thank you all for so much love and support, man, on all of my platforms, my channels and everything, man. It means a lot to me. Also, I'm gonna end this video off on a positive note. We will be doing a cash app really soon, but the cash app I'm gonna be doing will be on the Cryer Family Facebook because I've never went live on Facebook. Um, and it's a, almost a million people over there. I'm a little nervous because I know it's going to be a lot of people that live. But I will be doing my very, very first giveaway on Facebook. Cash out giveaway on Facebook in a live. He just snatched my boxing gloves off. Look. Look. Your brother bought this necklace for me about six years ago. And you're going to just snatch the boxing gloves off of it. Mm. Why you do that? 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 But we love you guys, man. Until next time. We're the Cryer family, and we are out.